Hey, it's me, Mr. Jason. Now, before we get into our video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well as that notification bell so that you know whenever we upload. Also, don't forget to comment down below a book that you would like for us to read together. I love requests. And when I get requests, that lets me know that you're out there listening and watching. And we love that here at Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And don't forget, keep reading. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to wherever you are in the world. My name is Mr. Jason, and today I have a read aloud for you. Welcome back to another episode of Read Aloud with Mr. Jason. As you may know, the seasons are changing, and they're ever-changing. Right now, we're going from winter to spring. Here where I am in Texas, it's still a little chilly, but I'm sure pretty soon we'll have those warm temperatures that we're known for here in the South. Well, if you haven't been keeping up, last time we were together, we read From Seed to Plant, and this story kind of goes in conjunction with that story. Because if you don't have the right temperatures, if you don't have the right climate, certain things won't grow, including your fruits and your vegetables. So with that being said, today's story is, What's the Weather Today? Written by Alan Fowler. As we read this story, here are a few words for you to know. Sunny, cloudy, snowing, raining, and windy. Also, be on the lookout for these seasonal words. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Also, keep your eyes peeled and those ears open for hot weather, cold weather, storm, sky, and clouds. <laughs> when it comes to growing things, a lot of these different types of weathers and seasons play a big role in how they grow, when they grow, and how strong they are when they do grow. As we read our story, keep those eyes open for the sight words that you see here on our list. Also, for the parents and the teachers that are watching, here are a few key developmental indicators this particular story teaches. So, with all that being said, and without any further ado, let's get into our story. What's the Weather Today? By Alan Fowler in Read Alouds with Mr. Jason. What's the Weather Today? Written by Alan Fowler. On your way to school today, did you feel hot or cold or just in between? Was it sunny or cloudy? Raining or snowing or dry? Was it windy? All those things are a part of weather. Weather often changes from one day to the next. It could even change a lot during a single day. Sometimes you wear a raincoat to school because it's raining in the morning or it looks like rain. But on your way home, it's bright and sunny. The weather also depends on where you live. In many places, each season has a different kind of weather. Winter is cold. Spring is warmer. Summer is hot. And fall is cooler. There are other places where it's warm most of the time, and it never, never snows. Well, hardly ever. And there are places where it's cold all the time. You have to dress like this to keep warm. When it rains so hard that you can't go out and play, you might think the weather is bad. But this farmer thinks it's good. The crops need rain to grow. People called meteorologists tell us what kind of weather we might have later in the day and tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. They warn us when a big storm is coming 
so we can stay inside and be safe. Can you guess what the weather will be like later today? Try it. Just step outside, feel the air, and look up at the sky and the clouds. Now, do you think it will rain? What an informational story. To understand that our weather and our seasons play such a big part in our day-to-day -day lives is very important. You need to know how to dress if it's raining, if it's cold, or if it's blistering hot outside. Thank you again for joining me for another awesome story. I had a blast reading with you as I always do, and I can't wait to read another story with you soon. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of a book that you would like for us to read together because we love requests. The more requests, the more we know that you're watching and you're listening. And that means a lot to us. So thank you again for joining us. I can't wait to read again with you soon. And don't forget, keep reading.